Hi, this is Tim Hodges of the University of Cincinnati with a short introduction to Cardano's formula for the roots of a cubic polynomial. Okay, so you all remember the solutions of the uh, quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, uh, given by the famous quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this was a formula known, at least in some form, to the Greeks 2,000 years ago. The next problem up is to look at cubic equations and ask <clears throat> for a formula of a general cubic equation in the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero. So this was problem was solved 1,500 years later in the 1500s by a number of Italian mathematicians of which Cardano now has the fame. So the formula in general is quite complicated. So what we usually do is make a small transformation that yields a polynomial where the sum of the roots is zero, and this means that the quadratic term, the term in x squared is zero. So we just have a uh, polynomial of the form x cubed plus px plus q equals zero. So the formula for the roots of this equation is the following. I won't read it out, I'll just let you look at it. So look in particular, think about in particular the case where q squared over 4 plus p cubed over 27 is positive. In that case, this square root is a well-defined real number in both terms here. And so the cube roots exist and are real, <clears throat> and we get a single real solution to this equation. This was the uh, case that was of most interest in Cardano's time. Note that if, if q squared over 4 plus p cubed over 27 uh, is less than 0, uh, then we have all kinds of uh, uh, complex numbers to deal with, and we have to take a cube root of a complex number. This was not um, possible, really, in Cardano's time because uh, they didn't have a rigorous development of the complex numbers. Note that the uh, case q squared over 4 plus p cubed over 27 is greater than 0 is exactly the case where the cubic polynomial has one uh, exactly one real root. <clears throat> Let's have a look at an example of this uh, simple case. And it's a historic example. It's the, uh, the example, the first problem posed by Del Fiore to Tartaglia in the challenge uh, in 1535. So Tart Fiore asked of Tartaglia to find a number which, when added to its cube, yields 6. In other words, a solution of the equation x cubed plus x minus 6 equals 0. So let's apply the formula. Notice that q squared over 4 plus p cubed over 27 is 4 times 61 over 3 cubed. If we plug all this into the formula, eventually we get the following result. So that's uh, the easy case uh, when the square root is a real number and we get a single real solution. Let's look at the more general case. <clears throat> so now, the formula gives us uh, the roots as the sum of two cube roots. And of course, for each cube root, there are three possible solutions, uh, three possible cube roots, complex cube roots. So this would seem to give us nine roots of the, the cubic equation. But of course, this is not possible because cubic equations only have three roots. So in fact, the formula needs to be interpreted in a much stricter way. So note that when we multiply these two cube roots together, we get minus the cube root of p cubed over 27. So the formula actually requires us to pick the cube root so that this product is uh, minus p over 3, not uh, one of the other cube roots of minus cube root of p cubed over 27. That should be minus p over 3. So the formula is really x equals u minus p over 3u, where u is this first cube root. Let's have a look 
up at how to apply this in an example. And again, it's a historical example from Bombelli's book published in 1572. He considers the cubic equation x cubed minus 15x minus 4 equals 0. So we have p equals minus 15, q equals minus 4. We go ahead and plug into this formula and we get 2 plus 11i and we need to take the cube root of that well, here one has to just uh, do a little direct algebra, and uh, we can notice uh, fairly easily that the cube root of 2 plus 11i is 2 plus i, or at least one of the cube roots is that. So uh, the roots of the equation are going to be u minus p over 3u. Uh, p is minus 15. 1 over u is 2 minus i over 5. So the roots of the equation are firstly 2 plus i plus 2 minus i, which is 4. And then we replace 2 plus i by the other cube roots, repeat the process, and we get minus 2 minus cube root of uh, minus 2 minus the square root of 3 and minus 2 plus the square root of 3. And uh, one can uh, unravel this a little further by noticing that one can factorize x cubed minus 15x minus 4 into x minus 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 1. And, uh, of course, the usual quadratic formula would yield the roots above. Let's have a look, a quick look at the derivation of this formula. How did, uh, how did they come up with this formula? Well, they did it in the following way. Look at the binomial expansion of u plus v cubed. It's u plus v cubed equals u cubed plus 3u squared v plus 3u v squared plus v cubed. So we can rewrite that, doing a little organization, as u plus v cubed minus 3u v u plus v minus u cubed plus v cubed. So we can think of this as a cubic equation of the form x cubed plus px plus q equals 0, where p equals minus 3u v and q equals minus u cubed plus v cubed. So what this says is that if we can express our general, <clears throat> the coefficients of our general equation x cubed plus px plus q in this form, p equals minus 3uv and u equals q equals minus u cubed plus v cubed, then our solutions are just going to be given by u plus v. Uh, so let's see what this means. So this means that v is equal to minus p over 3u. And uh, substituting this value of v into q equals minus u cubed plus v cubed gives us the equation u cubed minus p cubed over 27u cubed plus q equals 0. And this latter equation can be reinterpreted as a quadratic equation in u cubed namely u cubed squared plus q u cubed minus p cubed over 27 equals 0. This we can solve by the quadratic formula and look at what it gives us. It gives us u cubed equals minus q over 2 plus or minus the square root of q squared over 4 plus p cubed over 27. So our solutions are going to be of the form u plus v, where u is a cube root of this, and v is minus p over 3u, which is exactly the formula that I showed you at the beginning. Okay, I hope this has helped a little bit. It's a very brief introduction. There are a lot of more details that I've missed out. You can find them uh, in the notes that uh, uh, you can find in the description of the video. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.